Hey guys, this is Noah. Welcome to Must Watch. Well, you can catch our next guest in the new VH1 series titled Calling the Act Unfaithful. Please welcome the one and only Tammy Roman to Must Watch. Good morning. Hi, Noah. <gasps> Hello, Tammy. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well. How about you? I'm doing great. Better now that I'm with you, Tammy. I was Yay. looking forward to this. Yes. <laughs> so nice to have you on the show this morning, Tammy. By the way, we're both in the Peachy State. I'm in Augusta while you are in the ATL. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Right down the road. Yeah. Although uh, I know where nothing is in Atlanta. Like I've been here for seven <laughs> months working on another show uh -huh. and I'm, I'm like, I only know Midtown. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I feel the same way when I go and visit Atlanta. I'm like, where's everything now? And I've been, yes. you know, visiting Atlanta for how many years now? And I still don't know where everything's at. What? You know, so <laughs> I couldn't even hardly find my way around the mall, Tammy. The Lennox Square oh Mall. My like, oh my goodness. It's so big and so huge, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it's a great mall. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Well, Tammy, let's go ahead and get started. So you are on a mission to empower suspicious lovers to catch their cheating partners in this new VH1 series. I think we've been really waiting for a show like this because there are so many that are cheating on their spouses these days. And I first must ask you the simple question, you know, why? Like, why is this happening to people? Do you think it has to do with social media? Um, I'm not going to blame everything on social media. I think that, yeah. you know, it gets a bad rap, uh, you know, because people ultimately can control the decisions that they make in their life. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, right from wrong as an individual, hopefully oh, you were raised under that premise, right mm -hmm. and wrong. And when you choose to do wrong, I feel like that's a character flaw. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. And so, You're right. you know, and, and, and so, cause, it, cause you know, because it's really not difficult to be committed, to be honest, to be truthful Absolutely. and to have unconditional love for another individual. It's not that difficult. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I think that people though, um, when you talk about relationships, people aren't always honest with what it is they want in a relationship. And that's yeah. where you end up having scenarios where people step out. I think if, if people just focus more on the truth and the things they really desire, there would be less infidelity in relationships. Mm -hmm. For instance, a gentleman starts dating a woman and he yeah. knows like, I really like you. I want to be with you. But hey, listen, I know that I'm going to want to see someone else. Are you into an open type of, you know mm, what I'm saying? Like just yeah. being honest so that everybody's well-versed and abreast and of everybody's all the information on the same page that they of need. What's going on. Exactly. Yeah. But people send their representatives and they try to be what you want them to be instead mm. of dealing with the truth of who they are. Mm. And I think a lot of us always say it's our young generation that's getting caught up in this and they don't really know what they want. But also, too, we have such young people that are going into relationships when they're also still trying to find themselves, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, but, you know, and, and, and here again, I think the younger generation may be the group of people uh -huh. that are being honest. You know, the mm -hmm. younger generation is, is the generation that's like, I'm bisexual. I'm trying, I'm, you know, like they're the ones that are right. like stepping away. We, we hid a lot of information about ourselves and that's why we end up in mm -hmm. these situations. The younger yeah. generation is very carefree and very open and very mm -hmm. free thinking and very liberated in their thought process. And I feel like at, at the very least, mm -hmm. they're being honest while they're trying to find themselves. Yeah. That's a great point, Tammy. I really like that. Now, uh, your new show is titled Call in the Act Unfaithful. Tell us what we can expect to see from you and the people that you connect and meet along the way in the first season, in this six-part series. Well, what you can expect from me is, which I feel a lot of people haven't seen, is that, you know, I'm very maternal. <laughs> and, and I really genuinely care about people and I have a lot of yeah. empathy and compassion for people who are going through this in their relationship mm -hmm. and their interpersonal dynamics. And I think that's going to be a different side, you yeah. know, um, b because typically, you know, I shoot very straight from the hip. I can be a little brash 
And it's not always as consoling as people, as <laughs> coddling as people would like it to be. And I think for the first time, people are gonna see that side of me, which I definitely have. Mm. And I'm excited for that. Um, I'm excited too. The relationships that are coming up this season, we've got some of everything. Mm -hmm. And every couple that came on to the show pulled at my emotional heartstrings in some way or another. Mm -hmm. The very first episode, the, the, the young lady had lost twins and she was carrying her sonogram around with her. Oh, wow. That resonated with me because my husband and I had had three miscarriages. I know mm. the feeling of that. And I know mm -hmm. the feeling of wanting to have a family with someone and wanting to give them children, but wow. wanting it to be right at the same time. We mm -hmm. have another situation where um, a young lady is, is uh, sleeping with her best friend's boyfriend. That happened what? to me. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened to me where someone, you know, was trying to sleep with my guy. You know, oh, and, and mm -hmm. she was my best friend. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think I've been in a lot of these moments and that's what makes it special to me is that I'm able to help people navigate because I've lived it all. Right. I think VH1 picked a perfect host. I'm excited to watch this, but Tammy, you have so many projects under your belt, including the Ms. Pat Show, which is currently back filming yes. in Atlanta this week, Reese Witherspoon's Truth Be Told, and Carl Weber's yes. The Family Business. Oh! my goodness, and this new show on VH1, taking on so many projects, when do you find time to have some free time, some Tammy time, and what does that free time look like for you, my friend? <laughs> I, I I don't want free time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you are a strong I, woman that's working constantly. I love it, though. <laughs> I love it, too, because, uh, you know, I've had a lot of free time. I've done a lot of projects over the you know, I've been in the business since 1993 and, and, wow. and some Look of them I know. loved and some of them not so much. And I mm -hmm. finally feel like I'm at a point, you, uh, just to give you this really quickly. Sometimes yeah. you look out at other people and you go, everybody's in a winning season except me, you know, yes, and you know, I know that you you're mean. standing. You know what I mean? And it's yep. like, I'm being faithful. I'm doing right by people. I'm, you know, trying to live in love. I'm trying mm -hmm. to uplift and be happy for everybody else. What about me? Yeah. And um, I, find, I feel like just living in the moment and being present every step of the way um, and, 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 and really being genuinely happy mm -hmm. for others. Yeah. It's now my winning season. And so I don't need any free time. I want to keep on going until the wheels fall off. <laughs> oh, I love it, Tammy. Yes. You know, and I think too, when we hit a certain age in life, we think about things differently and it's so Absolutely. beautiful to see. And it, just to hear that, I'm, I'm so happy for you with everything that's going on Thank in your you. career and personal life. And by the way, lastly, what do you think is really going to captivate the audiences when they watch this investigative series on VH1? I think they're going to love the aspect of us allowing the suspicious lover to sit down with their partner's other lover and mm -hmm. seeing those two people have a conversation because a lot of times when there's infidelity in relationship, we're not afforded that particular yeah. opportunity. And then the decision for that suspicious lover to either team up with the other lover and confront the cheater or do an undercover ambush and take both of them down at the same time. I think the mm -hmm. audience is really going to get into that because at the end of the day, it's a voyeuristic look into situations mm -hmm. that are real, that are relatable to us that we've either been through, may currently be going through or know someone who has gone through. Absolutely. Tammy Roman, this has been a great conversation right here on the Must Watch Show. Everyone tune in to Cult in the Act Unfaithful, uh, excuse me, Cult in the Act Unfaithful premieres Monday, July 18th at 9 p.m. ATPT on VH1 with two back-to-back -back episodes. Oh, two back-to-back. Okay, now I'm going to have to pull out the popcorn for this. That's yep, right, yes, Tammy. you are. <laughs> <laughs> you take care. Have a great day in ATL, and I send my love to you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>